Hi, this is Justin Taylor with Novell with another Chalk Talk. Now, in the past, we've talked about topics such as provisioning and identity manager, but we really haven't spent a lot of time talking about the specific drivers. Let's face it, drivers are pretty much drivers. They're used to connect identity manager up to different systems. But one driver in particular gets a lot of questions, and that driver is the SAP Enterprise driver. Now, just so you know, everyone watching here, as Novell's had a history with SAP. We've had an SAP driver for many years. However, recently we've gone through a lot of effort to create what we call the SAP Enterprise Driver, which allows us to do much more than what we've been able to do before. It also is a certified driver, which is a key aspect of how we sell it. But one thing you're going to have to be able to do is to explain to an SAP customer how exactly that SAP driver works and what it does for the customer. So for that, let's go to the whiteboard, because remember, we want to be able to do this in a conversational way without necessarily having to worry where the latest PowerPoint presentation is. So what we're talking about again today is the SAP Enterprise Driver. Why do we call it the SAP Enterprise Driver versus the SAP Driver? Well, because in this version of the driver, we can do a lot more than what we did before. We can now integrate with SAP to a much more fine-grained uh, capabilities. Uh, we also have the ability now to do a lot more and to intercept more of the different events that are out there. If you want more specifics about that, please take the time to go up to the Novell website, novell.com, and look at the actual enterprise driver documentation, and it explains a lot of that. But what we're going to talk about today is what exactly it does for a customer. And to understand that, let's first look again at what we're trying to accomplish with Identity Manager. Identity Manager is about taking a user or some kind of identity and managing it throughout the life cycle of the user within an enterprise. Not the Starship, but the business and all of its different technological capabilities or aspects. And so that's what I'm trying to do, is to manage this user, manage all the different aspects. Well, here's the interesting thing. When it comes to SAP, we have to think of SAP a lot less like a building in a city, and we draw the windows and we'd have all this fun stuff on it. But in reality, SAP is more like the city itself. It's a fully self-contained city with a bunch of different components that do many, many different things. Now, there's a lot of different SAP installations out there and the probably hundreds of thousands of different customers out there that have SAP in one form or another. But because of the fact that it is its own little city, it actually has its own provisioning capabilities built in. Just like any large city, it would have its own infrastructure to manage itself. That's great. And SAP is really good at managing SAP access for SAP, but what about taking that now out and fitting it into the larger enterprise to the things that are not controlled by SAP? Well, that's where the SAP Enterprise Driver comes into play. What it allows me to do is it allows a customer who has SAP and has all the other things which, by the way, is typically much more than what SAP has. The mainframe applications and the legacy stuff, new stuff they're bolting on, partner systems, uh, just a ton of different things. Now I have a way to bridge the gap between these two systems. So while the customer may be using the internal SAP provisioning system to manage SAP, that's perfectly fine. That will take care of it. They can manage it themselves and continue to use that. But now for all these other systems, that in the past didn't have that capability, we can now put an identity manager and we can now bridge that gap between the two systems. So that at the end, these two environments, the SAP city and the whole rest of the country, let's say, can now communicate with each other and we can share access information and provisioning information between the various systems. So why is that so important to understand right now? Well, we're going to get into another Chalk Talk here, and you can watch that one right after this, that's going to talk about the compliance management platform extension for SAP environments. Now, that's going to work a little bit differently, and so what you're going to need to do is understand how to explain the bare minimum of what the enterprise driver can do here, and then also be able to explain how the compliance management platform extension for SAP can actually create even more value for the customer. This has been Justin Taylor. I hope you enjoyed this, giving you another Chalk Talk.